wholesaler bought walnuts and peanuts the price of walnut per kilogram being thrice that of peanut per kilogram fine so walnut peanuts this is x per kilogram this is 3x per kilogram he then sold 8 kg of peanuts at a profit of 10 percent so he sells this at 1.1x and he says 8 kilograms of it and 16 kilograms of walnut at a profit of 10 20 percent to a shopkeeper from 3x 20 percent profit 3.6x 16 kilogram however the shopkeeper lost 5 kg of walnuts and 3 kg of peanuts in transit from 8 and 16 5 of walnuts he loses and 3 of peanuts he loses he then mixed the remaining nuts and sold the mixture at rupees 166 per kilogram wonderful he mixes so i don't need to care how much of this how much of this is there 13 sorry 11 plus 5 is 16 or from 24 we lose 8 he sells 16 kilograms at 166 per kilogram right? and he makes a profit of 25 percent so this is the selling price there should have been some cost price i'm talking about the transaction of the shopkeeper for the shopkeeper there is some cost price and some selling price profit of 25 percent selling price is this if cost price were CP, then selling price is 5 by 4 CP. 5 by 4 CP is this number. What is cost price? Cost price is how much he spends in buying this. He buys 16 kilograms at 3.6x, 8 kilograms at 1.1x. So 3.6 into 16, 3.6x into 16 plus 1.1 into 8 into x this whole thing into 5 by 4 is 16 into 166 solve this methodically thoroughly we are through so i'm going to write this down 3.6x into 16 plus 8.8x the whole thing into 5 by 4 equals 166 into 16 6 16 are 96 6 9 16 threes are 48 57.6 plus 8.8 sorry 8.8 into 5 equals 4 into 166 into 16 4 8 plus 6 is 14 4 9 plus 7 is 16 6 1 66.4 into 5 is 64 into 166 5 4 are 20 0 2 32 2 3 3 32 equals 64 into 166 and 332 x that's next sitting here wonderful so far so good this is just 2 or x is 32 at what price in rupees per kilogram did the wholesaler buy the walnuts the price of walnuts is 3x x is 32 3x is 96 and now a tricky question because we're talking about two different things two different profit percentages two different quantities and then something goes wrong and then there's the uh, uh, remaining he sells at a price to get to a profit conceptually nothing here but layer after layer after layer of keeping details in mind making sure you get all the percentages and decimals and fractions are really right uh, it's a classic question because we want to get percentage and profit and loss right uh, you, you want to consolidate that this is a brilliant question if you get this right you can get pretty much any question on this topic right but it's still going to be time consuming and it's tough